and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm sharing my contemporary luxury handbag collection with you guys. So stay tuned. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Freya and I do fashion and luxury content here on YouTube. So if that's your cup of tea then consider subscribing down below. It's free and it really helps me out. And today I thought I would share with you my contemporary luxury handbags. I actually asked you guys on uh, YouTube because I was kind of clueless on what to film and my follower Suzanne wished for this video. So thank you Suzanne for this recommendation. So today I'm filming my contemporary luxury handbag collection you guys know that I love regular designers like high-end luxury designers but I tend to also gravitate towards more contemporary brands although almost all of these bags are quite old so yeah I will just go through them um, brand by brand and I'm gonna start off with my favorite contemporary luxury brand which is Tory Burch so I actually own two handbags from Tory Burch um, actually my mom owns so many of their designs and I have two Two, and uh, this one is my Tory Burch triple compartment tote and from me holding it you can probably see that it's a stuffed to the brim because this is actually my work bag. I picked this up in Metzing and Outlet and this one is really great because you have three compartments so you can have um, one big compartment here, one here with a zip and one in the back here and it's perfect if you need to carry a laptop uh, food and all of the other stuff that you need. I don't need that much for work, but I do always need my computer. So it's really handy to have this and to have like your headphones and everything you need. And yeah, this one I picked up for around 200 euros. It's really, really nice. It's I think half leather, but it's a grain leather. So it's quite a scratch resistant. And I put like a Issa Laurent little tassel on here because I think it jazzes it up a little bit. And yeah, it just sits really, really nicely on my shoulder. And I really love this for work. And the second bag that I have of Tory Burch is this little, um, I think, I'm not sure how this is called. I just know that it's in the color terracotta, but it's this beautiful wallet on chain. If you open it up, it has a snap closure and it has a beautiful kind of like braided chain, like a, a Chanel wallet on a chain would have, but then it also has this leather shoulder tap here so it doesn't hurt your shoulder. And uh, how I like to wear it is um, to wear it like this so you um, basically crisscross the strap and have it shorter so you have it on your shoulder like this. And I really, really love the color. I think it's quite unique and I love the gold studs. I think it really adds a little bit of pizzazz. And to me, Tory Burch has such amazing quality. I think I picked, picked this up for like around 200 euros as well off of Zalando. And we actually only have one Tory Burch store in Germany, which is in Munich, but we do have outlet stores. And one of them is in Metzingen outlet where I always used to go. So this is really, really good. Um, yeah, and I always love to browse in Tory Burch and I love their shoes very much. So stay tuned and uh, stay subscribed to my channel because I'm going to upload a contemporary luxury shoe collection featuring a lot of Tory Burch shoes because Tory Burch shoes are my favorite. I have sandals, I have um, boots, I have everything from Tory Burch. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But this is my, I think this is actually called the Fleming. Now I remember, I think it's a Fleming wallet on chain and I love this bag. Okay, off to another brand that I really used to love but actually I sold almost all of my bags or gave them to my mom. I had like a tote bag. I had, I basically had pretty much like five or six Michael Kors bag, but this is the only one that stayed in my collection. It's this white bag that has um, this flat opening. And then if you open it up, it has this uh, little chain so you can wear it up, up on the shoulder. And yeah, this uh, leather is really, really great. I think it's this Safiano leather, the one that also Prada uses. And this one has a really big back pocket for your phone, which is actually super handy. And I used to wear this so, so much. Like this was, oh, eye drops. And this was uh, my summer bag for so many years. I also picked this up in, I, I picked this up in um, the USA and then, outlet in Texas I think and this was such a great deal I think I paid like hundred and twenty dollars for this or so and this one is really really good and I love that it's so understated like you can't really tell it's Michael Kors which I really like about this and yeah this is really robust 
so I don't have to baby this at all even though it's white and I don't have any color transfer whatsoever I have a small little mark right here but that's about it so I think this is gonna stay in my collection for as long as it looks good okay another brand that I have and you have seen this back actually quite a, uh, a couple of times and um, which is Longchamp and I used to have like a lot of different Le Pliage bags but this one is my newest one so this is the Le Pliage Filet bag in the color Ecru and I love this bag I've taken this to uh, on my USA trip with me which came in really really handy and I love Longchamp as a brand because actually their bags are quite affordable and I just love their simple design I think it's like people know Longchamp but it's not like bam in your face design or anything but people will recognize is the shape of Longchamp and I really really love the quality I've been purchasing Longchamp for I don't know since I was like 13 I bought like a small one it was like 40 euros back then or something quite expensive for back then but yeah it was like like a tiny brown one and I love that one and yeah since then I always had like these ones, uh, which are the Le Pliage, and I actually folded this one. I had these ones for school all of the time because they actually fit so, so much. And I used to have like an organizer in here and it fit all of my school folders and everything. And I loved how light they were and I loved how comfortable they were on the shoulders. And I had like, um, in the time of me being in like high school i think i had like a uh, two of them or something and like once one broke i got another one i had like a dark blue one and then I, I think i had a black one and then i purchased this one like shortly before i got off of school and yeah this one is yeah it looks um quite worn i have a couple of stains the corners are quite worn but i love this for um, like like an overnight bag or just taking this one on like trips because you can fold it really small and then you have just have a tote bag which i really really love another one of my favorite brands is actually coach i love coach and um, i unfortunately only have one coach bag my mom has like the coach i think it's the, called the tabby bag or maybe it's called a little different but she has this one and i really love that but yeah i only have one and this one is quite old you can see like the handles um, and this one also was my university bag actually and um, it's in a white coated other and it has the coach logo here and it's pink from the inside and it has like a couple of pockets it's super dirty but i've worn this for like four years to university and i actually went to a coach store because um i think the handle is gonna break like as you guys can see and they said they can't really repair it but yeah i i don't know what to do with it honestly i just love it um i i I wish I could have got like I would have, I wish I could get the handles replaced because then I would still wear it to work because it's actually super handy and what I really like about it is that it stays up on its own like it doesn't like like it, it sacks inwards because it's so old but it still stands on its own which I really like and my Tory Burch one doesn't do so yeah I really really like this um, I think I paid like around 200 euros also in the coach outlet many many years ago and this was definitely definitely worth it okay another brand that i used to have quite a lot of stuff from i was obsessed with ted baker because they had everything in rose gold and i love rose gold um, nowadays they mainly buy their clothes i don't really buy their shoes because i don't find them to be comfortable but i have I have like a couple of pencil cases and i had like other bags and other accessories from them and i love them but and um, the only thing i have now is this nylon little backpack and this one is actually full because this is my gym bag so it's just like a simple black backpack um the like these accents right here are leather the rest is nylon and this is really really handy and it just has like a little logo of ted baker here i don't know actually i think i got it from zolando as well and i think it was like 60 or 70 euros it wasn't really expensive and i thought like having a small black backpack because i actually don't own any backpacks um at all um 
well, yeah, if I go like on trips or something, I always use a bag, but I think sometimes the backpack comes in really, really handy and I wanted a really sturdy material. That's why I went for this um, nylon and yeah, this is my gym bag. I always have this bag in my car basically ready to go. And yeah, I really like it. I think Ted Baker, is really good for their uh, ready to wear which i really love um the bag's not that much anymore because i think they're quite young and um not as sophisticated as other bag brands but i really love the backpack <laughs> now i come off to like two really old ones this one is this one was the this one was the favorite this was my favorite bag i don't even know if this brand exists anymore but it's rebecca minkoff and i think in like 2013 14 15 this bag or this brand was all over and this is called the mini mac i think um and i have it in this beautiful color i bought it when i went to the us in 2015 with my husband um Back then it was my boyfriend and we went to Chicago and I actually picked this up in Saks Fifth Avenue or something like that and I loved this so much and it was between this and like a turquoise one and I couldn't choose because I love both colors so much and I was so proud of this bag and I took this on every trip. I actually wore this bag when my husband proposed to me and yeah, I love this and um, I love the color still. It has quite a lot of um, color transfer and the color is really gross. I should probably like take it to a back spa or something, but I don't really wear it. Yeah, I just um, doubled up these uh, chains on both sides so it comes a little bit higher up and that's how I always used to wear it. I didn't like how it looked crossbody and these ones are super handy. You have like a really big inside compartment which is actually really cute and they still have like these tassels. Like if this these ones break, I have new ones in here. And I love this bag so much by Rebecca Makeup that I bought another one and this one was my trusty bag like i took this everywhere and this guys this fits so much because each of these zips i think it's even called like the zippy bag each of these zips zips up and fits so much stuff and i really love this bag i still love the look of it and it has kind of like a grungy feel to it and i really like it and also in this inside compartment it's super super big like you can see my whole hand fits in here so yeah, it's just super, super big. And I also did the same with like the chain doubling up. Um, the hardware is already becoming silver because I've worn this so much. And this one was also kind of like inspired by the Alexander Wang bags that uh, back then people <laughs> used to have with like the studs on the bottom. I think it was called the Roco bag or something by Alexander Wang. And yeah, I bought this one also from Zalando, I think. <laughs> And um, yeah, I really love Rebecca Minkoff. Like the leather is so soft and such great material. Like I have these bags for like, I don't know, eight years. And I've worn these, like these two are probably the, sorry guys, my camera died, but these two are probably the most worn bags out of my collection. I've worn these religiously when I was um, around my early twenties and late teens. And I really, really like them. And I would never get rid of them, even though they're like really old and I don't know if I would ever wear them again, but yeah, they're really, really sentimental to my heart. And now I have two more bags left and they're not really contemporary designer, but I don't know like if I ever showed them, but they're from Zara. So I thought I would share them really quickly with you guys at the end. So I have this little basket bag that I actually picked up in 2020 and I wanted a basket bag, but I didn't want to um, actually spent that much money on it so i picked up this one i've probably only worn this two times but i think it's really cute and i didn't want to splurge on like a big basket bag and then i have one other bag this came out when like bottega veneta was really really in with their cassette bag and like the other like uh, big chain bags and i wanted one with a big chain but i didn't want to want it like i didn't want one that was an exact look-alike so i actually picked up this from zara i think it was like 30 euros and i really like the lilac color and i don't really have anything in my collection that is the same color so i thought 
I would just share that with you guys really quickly. And I hope you guys really liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below your favorite uh, brand of contemporary luxury. I would really like to know. My favorite, I think, is Tory Burch, but I also really, really like Coach as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys for my next video. Bye guys.